Meet Susie. She's the owner-operator of Susie's Lemonade Stand, and she's got a problem. Not enough customers, and no reviews. She tries to remember to ask customers to leave a review, but not always, and her customers say they will, but they never seem to get around to it. So she spends a lot of alone time with just her and her lemonade. But then Susie hears about an automated system for getting customer reviews, and she decides to give it a try. After quickly and easily setting up her account, she's ready to go. Oh look, here's a new customer. Would you do me a favor? I'd like to send you an email with a link in it so you can leave me your honest feedback about our lemonade. Would you do that for me? Sure. Susie gets the customer name and email address and logs into the local feedback loop system. She goes to the contact manager tab and clicks the add contact button. She can enter a lot of information about this customer, but only the first name and email is required. She also checks off that she has permission to send emails here and that she wants to include this customer in the auto email sequence. Now, Susie's job is done. The system takes over and works to get her a review. The next time Susie's customer, Goldie Locks, checks her email, she sees a nice message from Susie. How'd we do? Really, we want to hear from you. When Goldie opens it, she sees a nice personalized message from Susie asking her to leave honest feedback and Susie has offered a nice little bribe if she does. By the way, Susie can do that because she's only giving an incentive to give internal feedback. No rules against that. You just can't give incentives to leave external reviews on sites like Google or Yelp. Goldie clicks the link and sees a very simple feedback page, customized with Susie's logo and company name and address. Goldie clicks on the five-star rating and leaves a short bit of feedback. The system recognizes that this is a favorable rating and takes Goldie to this page, where a friendly and professional actress thanks her for her feedback and asks her if she'd be willing to just copy and paste that feedback onto one or more of the review sites. Logo links are right here, just a simple click. Look how easy it is for Goldie to leave a Google Plus review. And now a Yelp review. Now, by the way, if Goldie hadn't bothered to leave feedback at this time, the system would send a friendly reminder tomorrow, and then another, however many Susan wants, up to seven. If Goldie doesn't leave a review, it'll be because she doesn't want to, not because she forgot. Meanwhile, back at the lemonade stand, Susie gets another customer, and again asks if she can send an email so she can give some feedback. She enters the new customer name and email into the system, and Georgie finds an email waiting for him. Georgie clicks on the link and leaves a three-star rating. He was not happy. The system sees this as a poor review and takes Georgie to a different page. Here, the actress apologizes for the poor experience and asks for more details on what went wrong and how she can improve. And there's no place here for him to leave his negative feedback on external review sites. In this case, her employee was behind the counter and was rude. Also, the lemonade was warm. This is highly valuable information for Susie. Knowing this, she can train, discipline, or fire the employee, and she can update her checklist to make sure the lemonade always has ice. After leaving his review, Georgie gets this personalized email from Susie, letting him know she's heard him and is taking steps to keep it from happening again. Georgie realizes Susie cares about his situation. Susie could, if she wanted, offer a free lemonade on his next visit, and George is satisfied. He's vented. He's placated, no need to jump online and trash Susie's lemonade stand on the review sites. In fact, Georgie starts telling all his friends about how great Susie's lemonade is. He's now a loyal fan. And back at the stand, the moment Goldie left her positive review, Susie got this email. And when Georgie left his bad review, Susie immediately got this email. Knowing when people are leaving you positive reviews and negative reviews is great feedback for the business owner. At any time, Susie can decide to personally call a customer to thank them or to resolve an issue. And who do you think is the ideal person to ask for a referral? And when's the ideal time to do that? Well, how about the guy or gal that loves your service? And how about right after they've left you a raving review? The local feedback loop system gives you the information to do that if you want to. Well, at the end of the day, Susie wants to see how she's doing. She opens up the feedback loop system and looks at the feedback page. She sees the most recent reviews and on the right gets a summary. This shows she's averaged 4.5 stars from all of her internal feedback. 
It also shows the breakdown, three five stars and one three star. Below that shows her average external score from Google and Yelp. And she can see actual reviews posted on those external sites. Next, Susie goes to her reporting tab where she can see some charts of her ratings and a filterable list of actual ratings. As you can see, this is a very easy system to use, but if there's ever any confusion, here's a training tab with four videos showing you how to use every feature. So, the keys to the success of the local feedback loop system are, it's very easy for you or your staff, so it will actually get used consistently. It's proactive. Rather than asking and hoping your customers will leave a review, it emails them with a simple link and it will remind them again and again, up to seven times if you want. It never makes your customer jump through hoops to leave you a review. It's just a series of small steps, small commitments. Just click this link, okay. Oh, just click the stars and type my feedback, cool. Oh, you want me to paste my feedback on one of these review sites and all I have to do is click the logo, fine. You control the feedback by keeping it all in-house. Our intelligent system only asks the positive reviewers to leave a review out there. You also have an opportunity to head off a negative review at the pass. When someone leaves an unfavorable feedback, you get an instant email so you can follow up with them and make them feel heard and cared for. They're much less likely to feel the need to trash you online after you do that. And it does all this automatically. So, do you need more positive reviews? Do you like the power and simplicity of the local feedback loop system? Go ahead and take the local feedback loop system for a spin. Pick your plan below, and if you're lucky enough to have a coupon code, you can enter it below for a $1 14-day trial.